the back straightaway. Ryan Newman is in it. Through the grass goes Matt, or the 37, excuse me, Travis Quattle. Newman's car destroyed. That's the army of none right there, none left. And there is Travis Quapple. Looks like he'll get back to pit road without a whole lot of damage. I think they just get a little bit uh, watered up back in there. Boy, it was a hard lick. That was a hard lick with the 39 car. Somebody turned. Elliot Snyder Sadler got Sadler. loose. Yeah, he got loose, and here they all come. and just piled in. The 19 of Elliot Sadler. Look at that 39 car. <laughs> Those splitters. They're like snow plows. Wow, well, wow. Elliot just missed Quapple. What a miss. Top of your screen. Yeah, you see Sadler, he just gets loose. As Newman's going by, and he clips Newman in the right rear and just turns him straight into the fence. I know Ryan Newman won this race a couple years ago, and we're getting reports. Newman's out of his car. Everybody's out of their car. But I'm telling you, other than that win in the Daytona 500, restrictor plate racing has been hard on Ryan Newman. Not good to him. I still have visions of him flipping over down the front straightaway here a couple, three years ago. Filled up in turn number four with, I believe, Joey Logano. All right. The caution's out. The leader has not taken the white flag, so we will go into overtime. Imagine that. There were three cars involved up there at turn four. Elliott and Logano couldn't see the third car through the smoke. Let's see it as it'll come in, Daryl, from the right side of the screen. A lot of damage to Joey Logano and Bill Elliott. A lot of cars back in here, a whole gaggle of them. Bill looks like he just took, it almost like Bill had a flat tire. He just washed up the hill right into Logano, and here comes a poor said who's been kind of riding around at the back, staying out of trouble all day until the last lap. But definitely Elliott's car, the 21, just it looks like, yeah, it looks like a real drift almost. It looks like maybe he got, see how it takes off back there? It looks like he's got a tire down to me. So the 1985 and 87 Daytona 500 winner in the 21, Bill Elliott. Joey Logano is just a victim of being in the wrong place. Oh, yeah. I thought I could see the right front, a little soft on Bill's car. I'm just, I'm not sure. And, and I think Joey could see it happening because you could hear him starting to get green flag, green light checker. Here we go. Oh, boy, that 56 got a great restart. And he's got Harvick he's pushed got, in when he took the green flag. He's got Harv all up behind him. Harvick trying for the bottom. Made it! He tried to put the block on him, but Harvick was there. That's what he did. Bam, bam, and here we go. Here we go, boys. That's why Harvick had to get to the bottom. Harvey jumped on the top. Look at McMurray in that one. Jumped to the bottom. Oh, I got another wreck. Dead. Jump. Casey Kane. Caution is out. So, we'll try Casey to get in the nine. Robert Richardson in the 38. Now, I want to know who the, I want to know who the visionary was that said, we better try this three times. Because once ain't going to be enough. <laughs> but if these folks are going to stay here all day and wait on the finish, they deserve a green flag finish. Everybody deserves it. Now here's the restart. <laughs> watch Harv Watch Mr. Harvick. Pardon me, excuse me, coming through, out of my way. Yep, muscle, man. He, he, like he said, I've got to get to the bottom. I'm not good at the top, and he's, we saw that on that last restart. He squeezes in front of Biffle. Truex says, no, 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 you can't go there, and that was not a good move. When Truex came down in front of him and got squirreled up and took all his momentum, here comes McMurray and everybody else. And look at these guys wearing each other out behind Biffle because he lost his momentum. But yeah, the door was open just wide enough for that one car to jump back in. Middle of your screen, the nine of Casey Kane. Boy, Jeff Gordon, well, that's oh. a, it just got bottlenecked in there. Jeff gave a, Casey Kane a little, in the nine car, a little bump, shot him into Mark Martin in the five, and then they rebounded from there. Now, because of this overdrive, this green-white checker, another attempt, we're being told that uh, Mark Trix Jr. is being told to save fuel. <laughs> okay. I'm sitting up here in the front of the field. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> Darrell, the way that accordion, Mark Martin in the five got hard on the brakes. When Casey Kane hit him, it squirreled him up. Here, and then Jeff Gordon got in the back. Here's, here's okay. what happened, Mike. Jeff Gordon 
bumped the nine in the middle of the corner there, shot him up to Mark Martin, and when he uncoiled off of Mark, he got hit. You'll see Jeff Gordon, I believe, come up here, bump the nine, green flag. Pretty much a dead heat. It looks like Kevin got a little bit of a jump on the, the 20. I got a little jump on the one car, and there's dad to be Carl Edwards, white in the back of the 29, pushing as hard as he can. Here we go up the back, two by two, except the cat out front. Look at the run, McMurray get down that back straightaway, getting bumped from Greg Pippen in the 16 car. Pippen's oh. all over the back of it, Edwards looks in the middle. Oh, that might have been Harvick, might have been Harvick, got to go to the outside and go with that fast line. Here comes Truex fighting his way back on, on the outside in that 56, but not a lot of help out there. Pretty wide, here comes Dale Jr. pushing, click Look at that. there. Where'd Junebug come from? Yes, right. This will be the white flag. Jamie McMurray is in front to try to win the 500. This will be the last lap. Whatever happens now happens, folks. They can all line up down here, and somebody's going to leave out that touchdown. <laughs> Junior's going to win it. You watch. With Boyer. Pivot ahead. Truex trying to get up there and help McMurray, but Boyer's right there behind Bifflin, the 16. Look at here goes Boyer to the outside. Look at Junior. Come on, Junior. Come on. Can they make it to the flag? Nah, no way. They'll never get through no this third. No way. Junior got squirreled up right there. Oh, it's just perfect. He's flying through there. Dale Earnhardt no Jr. Way. unbelievably has caught Jamie McMurray as they come to turn four. He'll have to go to the high side, though. McMurray will guard that line. Grass at the back. Never mind. Green flag still out. Checkered flag in the air. The 52nd they call a flag on the line to Jamie yes. McMurray. Yes! yes. Little Jamie, baby! Yes, sir. Billy Bass. How about that? Jamie McMurray, Teresa Earnhardt, Chip Ganassi.